Yeah, hello everybody. Um, yeah, thanks uh, first of all for the invitation. Um, it's a pleasure to, to share some thoughts with you and obviously myself coming from the industry, I'm more the pragmatic look on market economy, its uh, strength and weaknesses. I think um, I want to focus, and that may not be a surprise, uh, given the fact that I'm uh, currently uh, involved in an industry which, which is based on innovation. So the role of uh, innovation in order to maintain a vibrant uh, market economy, I think, cannot be underestimated. And um, um, I'm, I'm very... Um, um, positive with regard to, to the impact of um, competing in a market economy because um, it is a, not a static concept but a very dynamic concept and it's not a centralized approach where some central wisdom is uh, able to decide about what is a fair distribution of wealth or which industry should we focus on, where should we put uh, subsidizers as we see this now in more and more countries with regard to kind of an industry politics. I'm always very skeptical about these kind of decision because I do not feel that at least myself I would be able to take really good decisions in, in, in the end. And uh, the opposite is a decentralized discovery process uh, where many solutions, where many ideas are competing and it's uh, the demand uh, and potential customers deciding what is going to be successful and what is less successful. Um, obviously, we have to make sure that there is an appropriate regulation in order to allow for this competition to happen and uh, we uh, do not see a market economy as a kind of a concept on its own and nothing else around. It's a part of society, so also our societal expectations um, uh, will interact with the mechanisms of market economy, for example, when it comes to income and wealth distribution. So we have to make sure that what is happening in the market economy in the end is also characterized by um, a kind of a fairness. And, uh, but still, I think uh, uh, there, there are convincing examples about uh, the strength of uh, market economy, and let me just share two of them. One is clearly what happened during COVID-19, because if you look what really has helped us to overcome this global pandemic, it's not government regulation, but it's the triangle of innovation, how I call it, consisting of uh, vaccines, consisting of medicines, and consisting of, of tests and uh, the uh, discovery and uh, the capability to ramp up from zero to billions of, let's say, uh, vaccines in a very short period of time. That is exactly what has helped us to be back to a, a situation which I would call close, close to normal right now. And um, this success um, was not triggered by, for example, state uh, subsidies to do research and development. And a good example is uh, the uh, uh, mRNA uh, technology, which is at the uh, basis of, of uh, uh, many vaccines. And these many vaccines actually, um, there were two, more than 200 candidates of vaccines which have developed 10 could be um, expected to lead to a kind of a medical success and probably half of these ten, five of them are also a commercial success. And when we look at uh, the German example of BioNTech with an mRNA-based vaccine, a global success, and on the same technology there was another German company, CureVac, and uh, this was a total write-off. Also mRNA vaccine. So even with the same technology, uh, you are not prone for success. And uh, that is something we should keep in mind uh, 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 when it comes to creating um, the right incentive. I think, first of all, let's uh, make sure that competition prevails. So we really have competition. And the second element 
is uh, um, uh, as a second means of, of incentive is a patent patent system which is rewarding innovation and gives you uh, an opportunity to benefit from it uh, for for a limited number of years. So it's not a monopoly forever, it's a monopoly which will at some point in time expire and then you either are able to replace innovation by new innovation or you will uh, not be able to, to benefit from that. Um, so um, what I wanted to, to emphasize is that um, innovation really helps us to uh, bring um, uh, this dynamic of the market economy um, to new ideas, and when we see limitations, challenging uh, challenges, um, challenges, for example, with regard to our society, um, I'm convinced that uh, by distributing what is existing will not help us out. Then we will all only have societal struggles. Who gets more, uh, the, the bigger uh, part of the cake? But what we have to do is focusing on basically increasing the size of the cake and let's innovate us out of that situation.